We're going to go through a number of different kinds of hierarchies, and we're going to start with the simplest of all, which is the intrinsic hierarchy. That's intrinsic, that is built in to all XML files. We've been talking about the intrinsic hierarchy for a long time. It's the tag hierarchy that I've been referring to in the past. It's the parent and child relationships between elements, their sub-elements, and their attributes. That's the intrinsic hierarchy, and the intrinsic hierarchy creates the notion of relationship that we have inside of, of, of an XML system. So the, the notion of relationship inside an XML system is that parent-child notion. It's a fundamentally hierarchical system of organization. It basically says that anything I can think of, any kind of relationship that I can think of, can be represented somehow in this hierarchical, um, in this hierarchical system. And of course, the one big addition to that is the idea of an ID and an ID ref, which allows us to create point-to-point -point relationships as well. So we'll talk about that more, the point-to-point -point relationships later on, but I want to start by introducing this intrinsic hierarchy, the hierarchy that's intrinsic to every XML file. So a very simple hierarchy, we've been talking about it all along, but I would be remiss if I didn't include it in all the different kinds of hierarchies that we will work with. 